Hey everybody, uh, this is the first part of our review for our test on Module 2. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have, uh, this is going to be the uh, the graphing and the algebra part, and then the next part will be the application part. So here we go. Let's graph each f uh, function and state the vertex. So here we go. This is an absolute value graph. Okay, so the vertex is uh, opposite this number, same of that number right there. So negative 1, negative 2, so over 1, down 2. And then we use this negative 2 to tell us um, uh, how much to go down. So that negative 2 means we go down 2, down 2, over 1 on both sides. So we're going to go down 2, over 1 on that side, down 2, over 1 on that side right there. Okay, and then uh, connect them up, and there's our, our absolute value graph right there. Okay, okay, let's do the same here. Opposite, same. Okay, so negative 2, 5. Now we're going to use this and go from here on both sides up 2 to over 3. Okay, so up 2 over 3 on both sides right there. Okay, no problem. All right, so now we're going to solve these guys graphically. Okay, so how we're going to do this one is we're going to graph this side separately and graph that side separately. So uh, we'll call this side uh, f of x and this side g of x. Okay, so opposite same. So over 5, down 2 right there, okay? And then uh, from there, we're going to go up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1, okay? So um, up 4 over 1 on both sides. So there's the absolute value graph right there. And then g of x uh, is just a horizontal line here at 10 right here. So where they intersect up there is our x answer. These are solving for x, so it's an x answer. x equals 2, x equals 8 right there. Okay, let's do that with this one here. Okay, same thing. We're going to graph uh, the absolute value side and graph the line y equals 2 right there. Okay, so absolute value negative 3 halves is positive 3 halves, so we'll just pull that out. Now we'll do opposite same, okay? So 2 comma 3 right there, okay? And then uh, we go up 3 over 2, so up 3 over 2. Now we're going to graph this guy two, uh, uh, at y equal 2 right there, okay? So uh, these guys don't intersect, so there is no solution on that one. Okay. All right, let's solve these guys uh, algebraically. Okay, so this is where we have an absolute value equals a number. So we say it equals plus or minus that number. So we're going to solve each one of those equal to 3 or negative 3, plus or minus 3. Okay, there we go. Subtract 4 and then multiply by 3, and then we get uh, negative 3 or negative 21. Okay. Let's do that with this one. So here we're going to take away 3 from both sides first. So when we take away 3, we're going to get um, uh, that. And then we get to get rid of this negative 3. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. Now we have an absolute value equaling a negative number. Remember, absolute values are always positive. So this one's no solution. Okay, that this would be where this V would not intersect this line Y equals 6 right there. Okay. All right, let's try this guy here. Okay, subtract the 5, and we get the 7s. Now we divide by 7, and we get 1, and then we say it equals plus or minus 1. Okay, I'm going to change these to improper fractions. This will be 7 halves, and this will be 7 halves, and I'll slide it up. Okay, so there it is right there. Now I'm going to multiply by 2, by 2, by 2. Same over here. That way we get rid of the fractions right there. And then we can just subtract 7, and we get uh, negative 5, negative 9. Okay, x equals negative 5 or negative 9. Okay, let's uh, solve these inequalities uh, graphically. So we'll graph the left side here, graph the right side here, and then we want to know after we graph, where is this V graph? below this horizontal line right there. And these are x answers, okay? All right, so opposite same. So this is like um, uh, x minus 0 inside of there and then plus 5. So 0, 5, okay? And then um, uh, this, me this means go down 1 over 2. So down 1 over 2 on both those. There's 0, 5 up there. Okay, and then uh, g of x equals 4. So we draw that horizontal line right there. Y equals 4 right there. And then we want to know, we want to know where is the left side, which is the blue graph right here, below the red graph. Okay, so where is this blue? See, right up here, the blue graph is above the red graph. The blue graph is below the red graph on this side and on this side right here. And since it's just less than right there, then we want open circles. So it's x is less than, uh, x equals negative 2. So x less than negative 2 or x greater than positive 2 on that side. Okay. All right, let's do the same here. So uh, we'll graph uh, f of x equals the left side and g of x equals the right side. 
Here we want to know where the left side is below the right side right here. So same thing. And then, uh, so there's the V and there's the horizontal line right there. So where is the blue below the red? The blue is below the red in this region right here from X equals negative 3 to X equals 1 right there. Okay, so X is greater than negative 3 and at the same time less than negative 1. So, so um, these kind of graphs we say uh, where X is between. X is uh, negative 3 is less than or equal to X is less than or equal to 1. Okay, all right. And then uh, let's solve this uh, algebraically. So we'll subtract 15. And then this is a OR statement when it's pointing away from the absolute value. We set it up as an OR statement. So the inside stuff, flip the sign negative, And then the inside stuff, just keep it just like that. So that's what this says right here. OK, so now we're going to go minus 4 on both of those inequalities. And then divide by negative 1 right here. We'll divide by that negative. It's going to flip that guy and flip that guy right there. So when we divide by negative 1. We get x greater than 10 or x less than negative 2. This is the smaller part right here, so we'll say x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than 10. And think about if we graphed that, you guys. If, if this is 0, negative 2 is right here and it's going that way. Here's 0 again. 10 is over here. It's going that way. An OR graph typically goes in opposite directions when we graph those. All right, this one would be an AND graph when we subtract 10 because it's pointing towards the absolute value. So when this is an AND graph, this is when this is between it. So we put this stuff in the middle and put negative 3 on the left and, neg and positive 3 on the right. And the inequalities are always pointing to the left. That's an AND graph. Okay, so subtract 1 from everything. And then uh, we're going to divide this by 2 right here because of that 2 right there. And then so there's our algebra answer right there. Okay, and if we were going to graph that, it would be a closed circle on negative 1, a closed circle on positive 1, shaded in between the two. Okay, all right, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.